And here's a new purchase that I have made. This uh, Fluke 27 multimeter used on eBay for I think it was seventy dollars with free shipping. And whoa! So it's got a problem. <laughs> That's the first time I've turned it on and it made that noise. Now I have been using this and. Uh, Everything was working right. I compared it uh, voltage and current and everything with my Fluke 87. But uh, the problem I was having was the, in this setting, the uh, uh, diode and uh, continuity test was not working right. It uh, was kind of measuring diodes, but it never really measures continuity. It doesn't beep out gives weird um, values and was doing some strange blinking just a while ago so it was moved to microamps and back to I really should go back to um, measuring diodes there's off and back on should we start with that? So I think I will pull this apart and see if it's just a dirty uh, switch or if there's some other issue in there. All right, remove the battery and pulled out the four screws that hold the back on and. Uh, can't see it in yet. Let's go ahead and pull these screws off and uh, pull the unit out of there. Okay, there's the uh, multimeter pulled out. It's got these little uh, this little connector here that connects into the uh, display. But again, that's the new display. You can see it's uh, from 2003. Has the uh, new display chip in there. That this is for the latest uh, uh, Flip 27 model. So I will go ahead and uh, can't really see much here. I'll pull that shield off and uh, maybe take a look at the switch and see if we can clean that up and check some wires. See what they look like. That looks a little frayed right there. Hmm. Look at where that uh, 9 volt battery goes. Let me pull that apart and see if that's making a bad connection. Okay, got air apart and don't really see too much. Nothing's really burned up or anything. Uh, now I'm referencing Dave Jones uh, from EEV blog. Uh, teardown video of this and kind of comparing his to mine and first of all that little teeny uh, scrape right there in the that's just on the power cord that's just that's not cutting into the power leads itself just this uh, shield that's underneath here so I think that's going to be okay and I do see that this uh, you know, resistor divider network is kind of bent over. This thing may have been dropped hard at one point. So I think I'll straighten that back up again. And uh, I might measure a few of these resistors on the input protection just to make sure they're good. I'm sure they are. It looks like the switch may have some corrosion to it. I might just try applying some deoxid or spraying some in there because there's a couple of different layers of this. Let's see what that does. That's about all I can think of doing right now. So let's give that a try. Alright, looks like I may have fixed this. It's back on diode and beeper mode again. The beeper mode is actually working. My problem is I'm two clicks off. It should be down here. Uh, you see I turned it off and it still says it's in microamps. So 
I gotta correct that. Let me get that thing off a little bit. So let me take it back apart and fix that. All right, this is all back together. Not working 100%, but got it on diode test. There's a diode. Okay, I get the beep and it reads out 5.5 volts, which is about right. Disconnect. Close to open loop. Now when I do continuity test, that's working properly. But I think the issue is in the, the range switch here, because if I don't get this, like if I yeah, go off, back on again, sometimes it looks like it's going to work. Now I'll hook it back up, and you see it doesn't. So I've got to just nudge this range switch just a little bit this way. to get it to work. So now it seems to be working. So it's something in the range switch itself and that wafer switch is I'm sure that's not obtainable anymore. So if I really want to use this I'll know just to nudge it a little bit this way to get it to work. The circuit's good. Um, I will probably just, and everything else seems to work just fine, all the other ranges, so if I want to do diode test or continuity test, I'll just use my uh, 87 and uh, I call it good on this. This is kind of just my backup meter, so I'll just remember that that's a little iffy there. So there you go, there's my repair attempt on the uh, my brand new 20 year old Fluke 27. This one I figure is about 20 years old. They started making these in the late 80s and this model is from the early 2000s. So still very useful. I love the, love the uh, meter. It's very solid, waterproof, drop proof. So I just remember it has this little quirk. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.